what bands people were asking what what bands have I seen live? Oh Metallica, Godsmack, Ozzy Osbourne during his soul run, Paramount Five Thousand, Papa Roach. Well, the first time I I, I think I seen them. But the second time for sure it was just like Five Gus Punch. Uh, Marilyn Matson. Everybody knows the story behind that one. That was, that was a real, that was a real win that night. Uh, some people say, tell you about the, the, the night you saw Marilyn Matson. I was in, we were in Regina and I was told this like months in advance. Oh, we're going in Regina and seeing Marilyn Matson. I was just like, I'm like, what? I was like, we're going to see me. Marilyn Manson. Ah, it, was, it, it, it literally, it literally, I was just like shook. I was just like, it brought me back to because when you say the band Marilyn Marilyn Manson, it brought me back to my uh, days in high in uh, in high school here in the uh, people because uh, a one of the F uh, hires me was sort of like a, a, a supervisor at school. And, and then people, people was playing on the intercom and I was just like, ah. But uh, in Regina, going to see my own and I thought, one, it was either going to be just so epic or it's going to stunk. But here, where was it held? What, what arena? It was held in Regina at the Brand Center. My mind was kind of, oh, it's going to be right inside the Brand Center and the place could fill like 900,000 people. But after hearing the horror stories from the band itself, well, I was just like, oh, I feel good about it. It's, it's going to stunk. I know the place is going to stunk. So, walking into this little, this, little, this little corner section of the brand center, and, and uh, I, I knew right away it was just like, oh, really? Got the shirt. It was held this little corner section, there was like these two whatever local bands, I was just like, eh. And then the crowd was just kind of like, you're not, not your typical kind of crowd. And then once he he plays his uh like this weight game. Tell me this, anybody in the comment section down below, for anybody who's watching this video, what bands that you go see play the waiting game. If people don't know what, what the term waiting game is, is that you go see uh, Metallica, for example, and they don't sh and they don't get to the stage at that time, and it's kind of like, well, we're gonna make the fans wait. I'm like, what? That that's like that's like that's like sending a bad message to your your fans that have idolized the value. They they worship the grunt. They worship the music that that we all listen to. And then you're gonna play the waiting game. That that's not. They're like, dude, that's not gonna that's not gonna fly. What Meryl Mass did was sending a bad message to, well, a what he did at a diner in Canada here, like two o'clock in the morning, and then well, you know, I. I think what Marilyn Manson was sending a, a bad message because, you know, he's kind of like one of those guys, well, he's, he, he's a good dude, but his persona and, and the way he, what he did at, 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 at a diner here in Canada, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, long story short, it was, he made his remark about some young fan, and our first one to get a picture with him, so, so on the lines, and, you know, and when Marilyn Manson played in Regina, and he played his waiting game, 
five seconds in mosh pit scene and when I heard the term mosh pit and I did my research of what a mosh pit concerts are that was just like horrid and I mean my very first mosh pit scene in Maryland Mass and I was like get me uh, for, for all this. And, even, and even the security at that at that show they didn't do for that but go there go go oh the building drove home I was like this all night <sighs> yeah so I've seen Metallica, ACDC, Godsmack, uh, Five Foot Death Punch from ashes to new pop roach, uh, all y'all's were Iron Maiden. Uh, Aerosmiths, the Joan Jets of the world, Kid Rock about like two, two times, three, uh, Matt Mays, El Torpedo, and, uh, even 